I'm so sorry, I'm gonna sing again. Pretend that I have an acoustic guitar. I could break your heart with a work of art and a song that's quiet and small. As much as I love the Oscars, the Tony Awards are my favorite award show. For one, they rarely go longer than three hours, and for another thing, they have the best acceptance speeches. Unlike flying or astral projection, walking through walls is a totally Earth-related craft. Broadway, albeit a very small creative community, is also producing some of the best entertainment in the world. Actors, musicians, technicians, and others are putting on shows eight times a week. They hit their marks, perform their kick lines, and for a couple of hours, they transport a live audience to a different world. I've had the great opportunity to see a few Broadway shows in my travels to New York City, and every time I go and see one, I immediately want to go and see another. And the Tony Awards celebrate the best of Broadway each year. In 2013, the Tony Awards moved back to being held at Radio City Music Hall. Neil Patrick Harris hosted for the fourth time, and he's probably the best to ever do it. It's normal to celebrate the shows that are being performed on Broadway that season, but this year, in 2013, they decided to really focus on the struggling actor who dreamed of performing on stage. The entire musical number was co-written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who you may know from the musical Hamilton, unless you've been living under a rock, and then you should go and listen to Hamilton, like, a billion times. Except, watch this video first so that I get, like, half a cent in revenue. What I love about this musical opening is that it proves how insanely talented Neil Patrick Harris is. He sings, he dances, he jumps to a hoop, and he performs magic. He's able to go into this box and in about 20 seconds is transported to the very back of the auditorium, followed by a bunch of newsies. I mean, he's living the dream. But I think the reason why I keep coming back and watching this video every few months is the moment when Neil asks for his close-up. After which, you can really tell that Lin-Manuel had a hand in crafting this music. Neil raps about what it takes to become a Broadway star, and it fires me up every single time I watch it. It eventually crescendos into... There's a kid in the middle of nowhere who's sitting there living for Tony performances, singing and flipping along with the Pippins and Wiggins and Kinky's Matildas and Mormonses. So we might reassure that kid and do something to spur that kid, because I promise you all of us up here tonight, we were that kid. I want to pop my hand in the air and like leap from my seat. I am so inspired every time I watched this. I was in tears the very first time I watched it. Now, I don't kid myself thinking that anyone really cares about theater or Broadway at all, but I think we can all understand what it feels like to be driven by our dreams. Many of us, or at least I, started off as this wide-eyed kid yearning for something bigger than ourselves, hoping that we can fulfill those dreams. And some of us never will, but the dream is still there. I doubt very much that I'll ever perform on a Broadway stage, but that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy the performances of others or support greatness when I see it. My own dreams are many, and I hope that one day I can lavishly celebrate them like this opening number did. Plus, I just really want to do some high kicks. Are you a lover of theater? Let me know down in the comments what your favorite experience in a theater has been. My name is Kyle. Thank you so much for watching. I upload videos every Monday and Thursday. And to be honest with you, it's simply an honor to be nominated.